during the rule of the Romanian communist dictator, Nicolae Ceausescu, in the latter part of the last century, Romanian evangelical Christians were referred to pejoratively as repenters. It was an insult, kind of the way you might hear people refer to today as Bible thumpers or holy rollers, except these Romanian believers didn't take the term repenters as an insult. They wore it, as should we, as a badge of honor. Repentance is part of the normal Christian life. And no other place in scripture provides for us any more vivid a picture of repentance than does our psalm of the day, Psalm 51. This is a psalm of David. And we know, according to the superscription, that he wrote it right on the heels of the word of the Lord coming to him from the mouth of Nathan the prophet after David had sinned against Bathsheba by having an affair with her and conspiring to kill her husband, Uriah. What do we see concerning repentance in this psalm? Well, first we see that repentance involves crying out to God for mercy and uh, no holds barred acknowledgement of our utter sinfulness. Listen as I begin reading with verse one. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your steadfast love. According to your abundant mercy, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you only have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight so that you may be justified in your words and blameless in your judgment. What David is ultimately after, we see in verses 11 and 12. He wants forgiveness so that he can be restored to right fellowship with God. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me with a willing spirit. Those are verses 10 through 12. Now, when David is crying out to God for mercy... Who is he crying out to? He's crying out, ultimately, we see from the New Testament, to his son, the Lord Jesus Christ. Psalm 51.1, have mercy on me, O God, echoes a prayer that we see the blind beggar calling out uh, in Luke chapter 18. He says, not once but twice, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus does on the basis of his death, burial, resurrection, and intercession for all of his people. So, whenever your sin is always before you, as David says his is in verse 3 of Psalm 51, don't despair and run away from the Lord. Instead, run to him. Cry out for mercy. Acknowledge your sin. And then, like David, believe with faith that he will not turn you away. Verse 17 says, The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O God, you will not despise. God will not despise you. He does not despise repenters. Instead, he forgives them and he restores them for his son's sake. Have a wonderful day.